nearly 500,000 people go under open heart surgery each and every year. It's costly and comes with some serious risks, but some groundbreaking research out of St. John Ascension Hospital in Detroit and it's giving hope that one day soon there may be a safer way to treat severe heart disease. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women in the U.S. and nothing is more dire than when your doctor says your arteries are blocked and you need open heart surgery to save your life. That was the case for Robert Matthews. We knew going in of the risk, you know, ultimately could be death. Tanya Matthews was by her dad's side when he was admitted to Ascension St. John Hospital in Detroit. The odds were not in his favor. He had blockages in his neck, blockages in his leg. He was almost 80 with a history of heart problems, high blood pressure and diabetes. So open heart surgery was not a risk he was willing to take. According to the American Heart Association, two to three percent of people who undergo heart bypass surgery die. Actor Bill Paxton, known for his roles in Titanic and Aliens, died at 61 from a stroke and complications after open heart surgery. I was at my weakest point in life. Angelo Hassan had three blocked arteries and pneumonia five months ago in the middle of COVID and could barely walk or even play with his young son. My heart is only beating 15% and I'm, I'm a high risk patient. He felt other doctors had given up hope, but Dr. Amir Khaki of Ascension St. John had a different message. I'm gonna make sure you go home. But I gotta build you up. Angela was given medication to get stronger, and Dr. Khaki opened his clogged arteries with stents. After nearly 15 days in the hospital, he did return home to his wife and young son. I thank God that I trusted him. But I thank God most of all that he put Dr. Khaki in my life. For Robert Matthews, Dr. Khaki would offer him a different medical path, the chance to become the first person in the world to undergo an experimental surgery to open three blocked arteries with the world's smallest heart pump. Dr. Khaki handles high-risk coronary patients. As part of the study, he would use this tiny pump entering through his leg into a hole about the size of an IV. You said this pump is half the size of a pencil, correct? Correct. It's about three millimeters, so it's a very small pump. It gets bigger in the big vessel of the aorta, and when doctors remove the pump, it collapses. This procedure, less invasive, and much safer with a lower chance of injury to your blood vessels. The pump has been under investigation for about a decade. We successfully uh, fixed all of his arteries with the assistance of this pump. He uh, did wonderful and went home the next day. He was in good spirits. Um, he wasn't in any pain whatsoever. This could potentially help hundreds of thousands of patients in this country and millions in the world. And a big bonus, the cost savings from an overnight stay versus weeks in the hospital. Taking care of cardiovascular patients is actually the biggest economic burden on the healthcare system in this country. And for Robert, a huge Steelers fan, and now a world's first, the celebrating will continue. He's very active. You know, I think he was relieved after everything was all said and done. He's just living life. Nice that he's living life at 80. Four human patients have undergone this procedure and all have done well. If everything comes back positive from this trial and the pump gets the go ahead, it could be available in about two years, but will certainly change a lot of lives. Yeah, what a difference that will make. Mm -hmm.